Hey guys, it is Citri here again, and today I will be doing an advanced tutorial specifically about what I call phase block circuitry. It is the trick I use that allows this lock block here to control this entire floor here without any obvious connection between the two. So I'm going to use this same technique to create a phase block door that is controlled from a lock block that is some way away from the vault. And to do that, first I will create the phase block door. And I will need a tier 1 rune for this, so wool will do. As with any runes, when you're creating the frame or the rune itself, the material doesn't matter. Um, but what does matter is the tier. I've got this. I'm going to create these. I'm going to place these. all good, it's exactly what we're after. Now for this lock block I'm going to use a block of grass, it could be dirt, but whatever. I'm going to place it here. Now this lock block would control anything on the same signature, such as those blocks, but it's not connected to those blocks. So the only way to do that is to create phase blocks that are on the same signature and then link them in. I'm going to use a tier 6 rune just so I've definitely got enough. Don't accidentally end up wasting this goes here to make sure it's the same signature and now the material I use doesn't matter here and that's the thing to note uh, but I am going to use this um, tier 2 stone bricks just because I find that particularly sturdy now there is a connection here you can see it opening the door closing the door and toggling these blocks on underneath as well. Uh, the thing that is not so apparent, and it took me a long time before I worked out why this was happening, is that if I then do this and note that these are not phase blocks that I'm putting down, and fill in the floor as well, then come back and do this. These phase blocks here, even though they're invisible and not being brought back into existence, are still toggling when I flip this, and that means, because there's still that connection, so are these toggling as well. And I basically called that phase block circuitry, because you can run a, a line of phase blocks invisible through the ground and then connect it up here um, seamlessly. You could combine that with uh, lock blocks, as, uh, like a lock block with a block, and have a even harder to find thing. The only thing you can't do this with, obviously, is air. So there must be at least a physical connection of some description between this and that. You can change what this is as well. You can make it something much less apparent, like um, you could do redstone, for example. And so long as there is a block in that space, those phase blocks won't t toggle back on or off, even though those ones in the distance will. Which is extremely convenient. It means I could, for example, run a phase block circuit around the entire perimeter of my walls, so that when a pressure sensor at the gate gets triggered, uh, sirens of note blocks in sequence get triggered by um, redstone torch phase blocks all around the walls. So having said that, I then went and gone and redid the defences around my gates, which have been a bit lacking lately, and have created this wall and this gate here, which can be controlled all the way from down in my runecraft lab, which I'll just nip to there. There's a phase block circuit that runs all the way from there to here, which I will shortly make invisible. So now that the phase blocks are all in position, all I have to do is just run along here, make them, and just replace the space where the phase blocks occupy with something, anything else. Um, so I'll probably use just what would happen naturally. In this case, dirt for along here. Yeah, the remains of my cobblestone generator walls there. Hello. Yeah, a creeper ambushed me whilst I was doing this. There's another one just lying in wait. But I go down below. I go from the ground up so I don't lose my light. 
and And so the result is to anyone passing through, unless they deliberately dug these up and then activated the phase blocks, they wouldn't know they were here. Now, as it is, um, this can still be controlled from up here, and what I want are gates that I can control from inside my lab. So I need to go back down there and put a lock block with the right signature in, so that I can control these from down there. Because I can still go over here and just remove this, right click and you can see the obsidian shivering in and out and whilst that's happening then the gates will be toggling as well. So now I have the circuit I need to put in a lock block and otherwise just control that. I'm going to label it so that it's quite obvious what it's for and one thing it lacks is the ability for me to tell, because I can I can flip it quite easily right now, but I have no idea whether the gates are on or off, so I need an indicator, a way of telling whether or not the gates are open or closed. So the way to do that is, I think, to extend the phase block circuit so that there are redstone torches sticking out of the walls. I like redstone torches when it comes to indicating, and not least because I suppose I could link some other complicated circuit around it. So I'll get myself a redstone torch, turn it into a phase block, and place them here. Yes. And that means that I should be able to... Uh, no. No, I've done this wrong. Um, what needs to happen is I need to put... The, the phase blocks are... The, the torches are one forward from the lock block, so I'm going to need to disappear these phase blocks and then put in ones behind it to extend the circuit from the lock block forward. So get rid of that one, get rid of that one. Uh, I'm just going to use these redstone torches just because it's convenient, don't need to make another rune. Put those in, put some solid stone in to... and yep, there we go. Now it indicates when the redstone torches are on, the gates upstairs will be closed and when the redstone torches are off, then by default the gates will be open. And I've got someone downstairs who's helping me by flicking the uh, lock block switch, and you can see the gates are appearing, disappearing. I've also added in a, <clears throat> a second lock block at the gates, and it's on the same circuit as the face block, same signature and everything. So when I flip it upstairs, the indicators downstairs change as well as the gate appearing and disappearing. I'll get him to do that so you can see the indicator swapping. So that's that for my tutorial and explanation about the phase block circuitry phenomenon. I hope you guys enjoyed that and found it useful. If you like this video, please like it. And if you have a comment about this video, then leave a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this, then by all means subscribe and I'll be more in the fullness of time. When Minecraft 1.0 comes out, that's when it releases at Minecon, uh, I will probably be adding a new series to my existing two, uh, a Let's Play series, specifically about RuneCraft, not just another Let's Play, um, and me building my new base in the new Minecraft world that my server is going to be switching to, so do tune in for that as well, it'll be good to see you all then. Cheers and bye-bye.